also pregnancy really gives and it takes and the boobs just look amazing even just now when i came out of the showers looking at myself and i'm like mm, you all look good okay <laughs> the boobs we're talking hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm trying to understand why my camera battery is already dying today is supposed to be a full day we have baby's one month appointment today here she is she is currently sleeping this is supposed to be her outfit that she's gonna wear it's so darn cute i bought it from target so um she's sleeping right now we were supposed to have two appointments today but it looked like the one for the morning isn't working out anymore because one her dad isn't here and two he hasn't said anything regarding that also right there um i put some avena on my face but you know obviously i'm struggling with my hyperpigmentation so i have this cream from i bought from amazon it's called it's glycolic acid arbortin and kojic acid whatever this is this is the cream okay beautiful so we're gonna just put it on my neck because my neck is the only area that is affected i'm not gonna put it everywhere because well i want my neck to return to what it looked like before i just don't know i thought at least that at a month after having baby things would have started going back to normal also she's always on my face and on my skin and on my body so like i'm so particular about like what i use in those areas that she always touches my skin looks good my eczema was flaring up but I guess it's under control right now but um yeah we're about to go in the kitchen because i don't want to make no noise in here one and two oh she's sleeping so peacefully i have that yellow um the yellow onesie on her because i feel like the yellow onesie would also go with the yellow suit that i showed you guys on the bed um in case she got spit up on it then i could just change it into the white one because you know when you're going anywhere with babies you have to have an additional outfit so i made some breakfast earlier that i already demolished i had um an egg sandwich with some bacon the bacon was so so good so right now i'm trying to wash up and clean up the kitchen i have two bottles washed from the night i need to pump that is what i need to do hold on now. some milk from last night some formula from last night that we made at bedside i only gave her one bottle and I had an additional bottle of water, but now we're about to throw that out. Or does it look cloudy? Mm. Some boiling water in the bottle, because I don't know. I need to pump because my boobs are currently ginormous. I have my cute little pajama set on, but I have to put the sports bra on because I need something to be able to support the babies. There's my little mom med breast pump, and as much as I met at the company, because uh, one of the pumps after one pump session the battery is way lower than the other one like significantly low almost as if it's defective i reached out to amazon and they gave me a full reimbursement so i'm like whatever i'm gonna leave these people alone but i i did leave a not so good review because i was hoping that the company would have reached out to me because that happened before but no i've breastfed her mostly all of last night except for the one bottle because i realized the last two days that like my supply has really come in clutch but also it's at a point where the milk is spraying out before it wasn't like that it would drip 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 like a faucet but now it's as soon as she starts um pulling it is spraying out she doesn't even know what to do like sometimes she's on it and she's on it and just that she doesn't know what to do she's like opening her mouth it's milk running down the sides so much milk but um you know the more you breastfeed baby the more your body knows to produce more milk for baby as opposed to like pumping because one i was not consistent with the pumping and it's something about baby sucking on the boob herself that really generates more but i'm very grateful to my body that it is providing milk so i'm able to feed my baby very very grateful for that every time i use her bottles yesterday um sunday i did a full wash and sterilizing session of all the bottles for the week but like throughout the time what i do is i wash them with boiling i wash them first and then i put boiling water in there and leave it for a few seconds because 
back in Jamaica when I had my first daughter, you would just boil the, the bottles in a pot on the on the stove. You don't have like a fancy sterilizer or whatever. So I do do that too to like maintain the cleanliness of the bottles throughout the time where I'm not sterilizing them because I don't sterilize them every day. The sterilizer is a 45 um, minute session. But yeah, I'm gonna wash the dishes that I use to make breakfast in the fridge. I have my body armor in the fridge and I really feel like that too really, really helps with the supply. And everything works differently for different people. But since I've been drinking that, it has really helped. This, I don't know so much because I drink the the body armor more than I do drink this, but the body armor for sure. Like right at this point, I have so much milk in the fridge, I'm actually considering buying a deep freezer so that I could, um, because the more milk I put in the fridge, the less space we have to put meat and stuff like that. So I don't even know, I'm thinking about it, maybe just a small one. And I had thought about it before because I knew that I had um, plans to pump and store milk because there's nothing better than the breast milk for the baby. Of course, fed baby is, is best, but you know, the breast milk is really, really good for baby. So, um, yeah. So, so far it looks like we're only gonna have um, the pediatric appointment for her this evening because her dad left earlier and I don't know what's going on with that appointment. So, moving on with the rest of the day. Until further notice. So I'm gonna wash the dishes and then um, I already have the air conditioner going in the living room because it's hot, okay? So I'm cooling down the entire apartment. I have it going inside of our bedroom too and I have the door open so it circulates throughout all of here. But that's what we have going on for right now. My pajamas are so cute. Let me show you guys. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you guys have been around for a while, you know these pajamas. I bought these on Target a long time ago and I absolutely love them. And I have them in a medium and I really feel like I have them in a large. And I think I could have gotten a medium and, and been fine. Also, pregnancy really gives and it takes because I remember in the first month of my pregnancy, I'm gonna insert a picture. I didn't, obviously didn't know that I was pregnant and I went out and the boobs looked too good that I'm like, wait, are my boobs growing or is it just the bra? Whole time I didn't know that I was pregnant and it's the baby. And the boobs just look amazing. Even just now when I came out of the showers looking at myself and I'm like, mm, you all look good. Okay, <laughs> the boobs were talking. But I'm um, pregnancy really gives and it takes because all of my, my my voluptuous weight that I had before baby is kind of gone. I'm 150. I'm not concerned at all. I love 150. But um, the booby, the booty needs a little volume. Okay, because we had that before. But I'm not too not too much on that. I'm not too concerned about that. But pregnancy does give and it takes. So I don't know if that's gonna come back. But if it doesn't, we're fine with where we are. I'm happy with my body. And if it does, I'm gonna have to deal with that too. Because you know, women love talking about how fat they are. We go back and forth about weight gain and weight loss here, okay? But I have concluded that I am not fat and I should never say that again because my friend always tells me that. She's like, girl, you are not fat. If I had your weight, I would be glorious, okay? But um, yeah, I'm gonna wash the dishes and make sure that everything is right and tight around here. So when it's time for the appointment, we just have to up and go. So that's where we're at right now. Yep, okay, gotta go.